So Thanksgiving is coming up, in case you hadn't noticed. And I'm personally feeling a little nervous to go home to my family and try to connect. So I was thinking about different games that I could play to create more cohesion in my family, just like kind of break the, the norm and have something new. And um, I wanted to share some of that brainstorming with you, some games that maybe you could try with your family this year to make it a little easier to change things up. Uh, so there's a couple of these. The first one is sentence stems. Super simple. So a sentence stem is where you give part of a sentence and then everybody completes it. Um, there's two ways to do this. One is I give the sentence stem each time. Um, and another way is uh, I say, hey, let's play a game. Um, actually, I'll give the introduction to this because I think it'll help. If I'm sitting with my family, there's a lull in the conversation and I say, hey guys, um, do you want to try something? I think I'd really love us to just have a conversation together um, and I want to get to know more about y'all because this is like the one time of the year that we get to come together. So, so what the game looks like is I'm going to ask a question or, or basically give a sentence to complete and everyone gets to go around and complete it and I'm going to complete it last and then someone else can give a sentence and we go around um, and you can like ask whatever you want. Uh, and of course, if you don't want to answer, you can just say pass. Would you guys be down to play? And if they say yes, you can give some sentence stems. Uh, either you introducing all of them or just starting it out and then everyone can give their own. Good sentence stems could be something I'm grateful for here is, the classic. Uh, if you really knew me, you'd know. Something I've learned from somebody in this room. One of my favorite childhood memories is. Something only you know about me is. Our family is. Something I think is weird about us is. Something I'd like to add to our Thanksgiving traditions is. Um, or an accomplishment this year that I'm proud of. The hardest moment of this year. Or even if your family is comfortable with emotions, right now I feel. So I think that that's actually like the easiest game that I've introduced and actually gotten my family to play. So that's one suggestion is sentence stems. Another one is hot seat. And hot seat, the way that works is you say, hey guys, um, do you want to try something? I want to get to know more about each of us and maybe ask questions that we usually don't get to. Um, and I want to do it in a fun way. So do you want to play a game called hot seat? The way it looks is one of us gets to be on the hot seat and uh, they stay there for five minutes and the rest of us can ask anything we want. We could ask about your love life, how your work is going, how is it for you to be at Thanksgiving, um, who in the room you like the most, whatever. Um, and if you're on the hot seat, you can choose to answer or not as you desire. And we'll let you choose mild, medium, or spicy at the start. So you can kind of say what kinds of questions you want. Do y'all want to play? And if they say yes, nominate someone to be on the hot seat first. Uh, yeah, and then you, I, like it, with all of these, I like having some questions prepared in advance. So some really good hot seat questions that you might want to ask of your family and any of the sentence stems I gave could be good for that. Um, but other ones could be outside the present moment, like how do you feel about your work right now? What are you most excited about for this coming year? What's something you wish we knew about you? Um, how's it, you know, to be dating the person beside you right now? Um, you can go anywhere from simple to edgy. And, you know, with these games, don't try to push your family too far too fast. You want to give them things that they can actually lead up into. Like when I played the sentence game, stem game with my mom and my brother and my uncle, my brother's not comfortable at all with authentic relating stuff. So I'm asking, you know, like, uh, what do you most want the people in this room to know about you? And it gets to his turn and he goes, who would win in a fight, Spider-Man or the Green Lantern? And so we all answered that, and that's totally fine. Um, so another game, I'll give a couple more. Uh, this one my friend Jessica came up with, and I love it, and I've played it with other people's families, including little kids, like four to six years old, and it's called Freeze Frame. And the way it works is you choose a person at the table, 
and then uh, you say, okay, so think of a memory that you have with this person or something that feels really characteristic about how they are. Do you have that? Okay, cool. So on the count of three, all of us are gonna like do a motion or like hold a pose that shows um, like something that feels characteristic about them or reminds us of that memory. So let's try it. One, two, three. And everyone holds their pose or they make their motion or something and then you say, okay, please. Look around at each other. And everyone looks around it and then you say, okay, so let's go around now and, and each tell the memory or the thing that had us show that particular movement. And it's, that's a really great way to um, celebrate someone, to have them be known more by the family. Uh, yeah, it's a, a playful one that I really enjoy doing. Another one could be introductions. Um, this one feels a little bit edgier, and the next one is too, but kind of getting to know how we see each other. So something about my family is that I don't actually know how well my grandma, for instance, knows me or sees me. And it's been actually kind of bugging me lately, and it's something that um, for the first time I feel like I might be able to have a conversation with her about like sit down and say, hey, like, you know, how, how do you see our relationship? And what do you, are there things you want to get to know about me? And are there ways that I could meet you more or be more, you know, the kind of granddaughter that you're looking for? And what does that look like? How do you receive love? Questions like these feels kind of edgy but actually really exciting to imagine having that conversation um, and this game is kind of finding out what we know and don't about each other in those realms so the way it could look is um, maybe a simple way could be I'm introducing the person to my left and I'm pretending that I'm introducing them to the rest of the table and I say you know how I would introduce them so if it's my aunt I could be like um, this is Audrey and she runs programs for um, like kids and their parents and grandparents that take them around different places in Florida and give them tours. And um, she's also really good at business and uh, she's quite close to her family and especially her mom. And it, then maybe Audrey could say if there was anything that felt important that was different and I could even get other people to fill in details and see like, you know, what do we know about each other and what is it that we most pick up on and see. Last game, it's called Constellations. And in this one, it's a way of feeling out what the family dynamics are and kind of what we think and feel about each other in a way that could spark some really interesting conversations, even if you only do one of these. And the way it looks is, I might say, um, so I found out this great game the other day and I love it as a conversation starter. Would you guys like to play? Okay, so the way it looks is I'm gonna give um, a sentence and then we're all gonna point at the person in the room that uh, for whom that sentence is most true for us. Like we think that, you know, is emblematic of them. And you can only point to one person. You may have multiple answers, but just go with first thought, best thought. If you don't want to point, that's fine as well. Um, so sentences could be things like, the person at the table who's changed most in the last five years, and then everybody points, or uh, the person I look, go, look up to the most, or want to be when I grow up. And for, and for each of these, like, you know, pause after you ask them and like look around and, and tell people, okay, so like notice who's pointing at you? Who are you pointing at? It's not a popularity contest, but this is like, um, really getting into like how we are with each other and um, what we know about each other and what we see. So like, I'd love to like hear why did you point at this person? How is it to be pointed at? You can just use that to start conversations. Um, like, why do you look up to them? Um, other other sentences could be the person I feel like I know the least, who I'd most like get who I'd most like to get drunk here with is. The person who has most influence in our family is. The person who seems happiest about their life. Um, or the person I most want to be sitting next to for the rest of the night is. And that could be a great ending one because everyone could get up and shuffle. 
So those are some of my ideas for deepening relationship with your family at Thanksgiving. And if you try any of them, I'd love to know.